A coding club is breaking boundaries and shattering stereotypes by having kids get out of their comfort zones. Here's their story. Okay, so we're left arrow, move left. Can anybody code? Absolutely. It's, um, it's more creative than you would think. If you can give someone directions on how to get to your house or how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you can tell a computer what to do. It's a club at Sierra Vista High School called Girls Who Code, and members are on a mission. Get rid of any preconceived ideas they might have about what coders look like or how hard computer science is. The goal today is to really expand computer science and try and break boundaries. Those boundaries include stereotypes, the gender gap in technology, and socioeconomic status. It's enough to lift a family up and out of poverty if they get a computer science job. I have to get um, score points and attach it. Okay. The girls who code do something called game changers. They teach coding to non-coders like the football or wrestling teams. That's why you're, this is the whole point today. The, the, whole the, whole point. Point. Yeah, I don't think our the girls want to show these athletes that coding moment where they just get it. My little brother could do this. It's pretty simple. <laughs> the woohoo! Like they, they do it when they understand something. They can't help it. Their hands go up and they get really excited. Best part is when you make it work and it was the game works. Good feeling. Yeah. After coding, the athletes return the favor. No work, no work. And teach the girls who code about their sport or program. Protecting my legs? Yeah, yeah. From what? From somebody, somebody oh. shoots. Oh, it's a wrestling. I think it's actually pretty nice because we, uh, us athletes, could probably do something for them. We can show them something athletic. They can show us something that they know. I think it's very useful for us too. This is actually an area of education in Nevada where our kids are thriving. Nevada is leading the, the forefront, I guess, of computer science and education. Why is that? We wrote standards for our state before anybody else did about what things that kids should learn. For some, it is becoming a career calling. We're trying to get kids not only ready for the jobs that are when they get done with school, but the jobs that are currently available today. So what else do I have to do now? I would love to go into something in robotics where I'm able to program computers and robots to do what I would like. Now, if you missed any part of this story about the girls who code, just head over to 8newsnow.com. You'll find the story and video there.